So we are going to show you how to use Data Studio, open up and do some basic setup and basic data acquisition. So you'll find the Data Studio icon either on your desktop or go down to the start. You should find it in the commonly used programs. And if it's still not there, you just go to the program list and find Data Studio and click on it. Data Studio will load. And for all the labs, we are going to select Create Experiment. In the Experiment Setup window, you should see a picture of the interface that you're going to use. If you cannot see anything over here, or if the machine here does not look like the one that is on your computer, you can go to Choose Interface and then select either Science Workshop 750 or Science Workshop 700 and click OK. So I'm going to use Science Workshop 700. Next, what are we going to use to acquire data? Well, today I'm going to use a motion sensor. So I'm going to click on channel 1 where I have a yellow jack that's connected and I'm going to go down, select motion sensor and click OK. There we go. So there's the motion sensor icon telling me that it's connected and here it's telling me that it's going to measure position, velocity and acceleration. Now to get my data, I'm probably going to want a table and a graph. So to create a table, double click on the table icon in the displays over here. Choose, for example, position for starters. If I want a velocity and acceleration, all I need to do is click on velocity, drag it to the side, click on acceleration, drag it and drop it and I have position, velocity, and acceleration time, time data tables. Sorry. I'm going to minimize this for now and I'm going to create graphs. So I'm going to click on graphs over here. Once again, start with position as a function of time. Click OK. Then if I want velocity, all I need to do is drag and drop. So click on velocity, hold down the mouse button, drop it where it creates a kind of box underneath my first graph. Click on acceleration, drag it, wait till it creates a box at the bottom of my graph again, and I've got position, velocity, and acceleration as a function of time. And make it nice and big so that I can see what I'm doing. So, when I'm ready to go, all I need to do is press the start button that's over here. I'm going to place my glider on my air track. It's going to be noisy for a few seconds. Press start. Watch it bounce up and down. And stop. So I've watched my glider bounce up and down the air track a few times. Let's readjust the screen. So you can see right now the acceleration graph is highlighted in yellow. I can resize it by clicking on the resize button in the upper left hand corner. That makes it bigger. Then I can resize the velocity time graph and I can resize the position time graph. There we go. I might want to readjust the scale a little bit so that I don't see the initial second and a half when I hadn't turned on the air track yet. Now I can do this by putting my mouse over the axes, pressing down and then I can move the graph a little bit 
and I can stretch the scale by putting the mouse over the numbers, pressing down and dragging it across, which makes it a little bit bigger. So I can show several cycles if I like, or I could show only one cycle by once again putting my mouse over one of the numbers, pressing down and dragging and dragging and dragging until all we see is one cycle. Well, I think that this looks pretty good. I think I'm ready to save data.